Hello everyone, it's I, the Reverend Godfather, the main host and frontman for the internet's most hated podcast, the Long Coat Mafia Podcast. That's right, we are the most hated mafia-themed geek podcast on the internet, if not the only one. And yes, uh, again, for those watching on YouTube, we are live streaming on Facebook. And as some of you might have noticed, uh, I'm a little bit lit up better because, well, uh, I have a light kind of shining at me and that's just simply because I am wearing this brand new hat today uh, in an honor of uh, us hitting 200 episodes and going strong Big Candy got us got me this hat to promote the show I know you can see it a little bit better on uh, Facebook Live but for those on YouTube this is our hat and it's a very well done hat. It is, we, I believe he got it at, because he gave it to me in this bag here from Lids. This is, um, I normally don't like fitted hats, but this is a stretch fit hat. And it fits my big head and, uh, very well. So, uh, as you guessed by the title, we are doing a part two of the Soda Milk Challenge. Uh, meaning that uh, for those of you who missed Part one, I do uh, suggest going back into our archives and go watch it. For those on YouTube, I might link to it in our description. And that means last night, uh, a little bit more than 24 hours ago, uh, from when this is being filmed and being live streamed, we did it uh, because we heard soda milk was a kind of a thing or cola milk was a thing. And uh, I decided to give it a try with cream soda and uh and milk. So, uh, and the second thing is I figured it was a, uh, a decent, safe challenge to do because one, uh, re YouTube recently has put up a uh, statement saying no more uh, dangerous challenges and uh, anything like that, uh, meaning that, you know, no Tide Pod challenges or anything that's harmful uh like we wouldn't do that anyway meaning that we try to do a lot of safe fun challenges uh tastings and everything else uh that being said in part one uh, it was suggested that uh or at least brought up by me that i would uh do uh i'll do a kind of a super trooper challenge once again and drink a bottle of syrup if all of you out there smash that like button that's both on youtube and facebook and depending on who gets the most uh likes uh, i might actually do it but uh if you would like to uh see me drink five-year-old soda because i think big candy has a bottle of five-year-old soda lurking around somewhere uh please also leave, leave a comment uh down below and uh We'll see if we could get that to happen sometime soon. And that being said, uh, because this is just video content for our podcast, it's additional content for all of you out there. We do have an audio content, even though it's also posted up on YouTube for those who enjoy YouTube more often to enjoy. We do have our mobile version available to all of you on iTunes, Google Play, uh, Apple Podcasts, and uh, where other places are our podcasts are found uh the links to our audio podcast will be down below for those on uh watching us on youtube now also yesterday during the uh 30 minute uh live stream and video that was posted up on youtube it was suggested that we do kind of like regular uh coca like cola and orange soda and milk well uh, let me just say this, uh, before we go into that, I want to announce that by the time you see, a lot of you see this, if it's past, uh, Monday, our 201st episode will contain, uh, John Johnson from Darkstone Entertainment. Uh, he's the gentleman that helped, uh, put together and direct and start in a little bit with, uh, on Plan 9, the remake that was out. I think a little bit more than a year ago last year we did a fan theory and we do have plenty of notes and stuff for him uh, to go over but like back to the soda milk challenge I know a lot of you are putting it off uh, we have today our 
trusty handy dandy container now with uh duck black duct tape on it uh we do have a bottle because it was suggested orange soda name brand fanta soda why because we didn't go to walmart number one number two um name brand uh, i know some people might complain that uh, the cream soda is not you know, this cream soda you use wasn't name brand well this time we're using fanta name brand um and we're using not just coca-cola we're using pepsi that's right we're taking the pepsi challenge by uh mixing pepsi and milk so since no one is here in chat and oh by the way for those wondering does he have the milk yes we do we have the milk uh so what we're going to do and uh thirdly yes we are blaming big candy because he challenged us to have more videos than last year and this one i think makes video number seven or eight uh and last year we had like about 20 some odd videos posted up. So this year we have another 17 or so videos to go uh, to kind of meet and beat that challenge. So let me grab our container here uh, and open it up. Now, uh, the reason why I use uh, fresh bottles for uh, at least soda for this channel uh, for these like little sit safe challenges um, is because that you know that they are op they're legit they're opened uh, for those of you who wish to see that this is a legit bottle of milk and fresh bottle of milk um, see last night's uh, challenge or part one in regards to me opening this up but as for the sodas we're going to do uh, uh, open them up directly uh, we're not going to do like what we did last time which was we did it uh, a two-thirds mix of the soda and a third mix of uh, the milk we're just because we're going doing two bottles of soda this time around one orange one uh, regular uh, colt in essence cola what we're going to do is we're going to fill this up to roughly uh, a little bit more I'm gonna put it I'm gonna say a little bit more of uh, I might peel this back I'm gonna fill it up try to fill it up about midway a uh, one let's see here one they said a third one two three so one two about there so let's move this sconch here, this orange sconch, to maybe, I know I can't really see in the bottle. What I'm going to do is I am removing part of the uh, duct tape here. And let me get my scissor, move my USB stuff out of the way, and trim the back of this uh duct tape a little bit so we have a relatively idea and what would we say it was move this up to here and it's one two three yeah about about right at the bottom of this is uh where we'll put the soda one two three yeah about the bottom of this sconch here orange sconch is where we'll put the uh, soda the rest will be milk we'll mix it together meaning we'll turn it upside down and back make sure everything's mixed drink it all the way down and we'll discuss again who's going to be on our show t next week uh, episode in essence will be our 201st episode and things to come one just doing math Top of the finger, one, two, one, two, three, yeah, a little bit lower, right about there, yeah, that looks about right, one, two, three, 
Yeah, either way, it'll be roughly right. I got it right. So let's uh, start with Coca-Cola because in the, the article I've seen, they mentioned um, using regular uh, cola. Uh, they used Coca-Cola. We're going to use Pepsi because we prefer Pepsi here instead of Coca-Cola. And... And just for those uh, wondering, I there's my I have uh, off camera uh, for those watching on uh, later on Facebook. Uh, I put I have this year to show. Let me move this show. Uh, I have a, a mic off camera for uh, our YouTube recording, and we're using a brand a brand new phone for the uh, YouTube video. And why? Because it has, even though it has roughly the same um, quality front front facing camera, it has it has a better rear facing camera. It's got more um, more storage space, even though we have a about there. Uh, it has a better, a little bit better internal memory. Uh, it's a little bit bigger. It's got a stylus. Close this up. And again, because we are uh, past our 200, 100th episode, for all of those who helped our show uh, with our sharing and... Uh, uh, contributing as a guest or someone interviewed, we again wish to extend our thanks. And again, just want to milk. This is not going to be good. And last night, uh, what we found out with the... Uh, uh, Cream soda and milk. We found out it kind of, at least I, it tasted a little bit like a strawberry quick. A very light tasting strawberry quick. Not a, a heavy tasting um, strawberry quick. Uh, so that was that. And again, we're just mixing it up. Now this is uh, Pepsi and uh, uh, regular milk. And again, if you uh, we'll be wearing this hat to a lot more events. We want to try to keep the sticker on. I just want to wear it for this uh, recording and live stream because I uh, want to show it off that we got it today. And again, special thanks to um, Big Candy for giving this hat in celebration. And for those on YouTube, the reason why I'm uh, more lit up uh, is because I have a light in front of me, a very bright LED light which is uh, shining in my face and bright lighting more up of my face uh, it's only because when I take that light off you don't really see my fa face in our YouTube video and it helps light it up a little the YouTube video a little bit more so to get on this to see what Pepsi and milk taste like uh, again, I theorize that it's pretty much like putting ice cream in soda or having like an ice cream soda or root beer float. Uh, that's one of the reasons why I'm not trying root beer is because of the aspect of a root beer float. So if you want to see me uh, try root beer, uh, please comment down below. And if you like the hat, uh, again, please comment down, down below about that. Uh, so bottoms up. I don't get uh, I don't get it uh, I don't see what the thrill is in regards to this the it's there's still a strong uh, Pepsi taste to this you could barely taste the milk uh, in here 
Uh, I did the two thirds and two thirds. Again, it there is that aspect of uh, the fact that it does taste like uh, I had vanilla ice cream melt in in soda in regular cola, and that's what it is. And now, I, one things I, thing I noticed in regards to this is that you, a lot of you see my teeth here. Uh, that's because um, about six year, years ago, I uh, I was involved in a mugging i was the the victim and he got me straight in the teeth and i've been having problems on this side so that's why you don't see me show my top teeth that much but it does show up in the video i'm starting to notice it and what i'm going to do is for a palate cleanser, I'm just going to go with some store brand chips. When we switch over to um, the orange soda and milk. Because the reason why that was recommended that it might taste more like a creamsicle. But And I don't know if I brought it up last time through, through our stream and all. Uh, I'm not crazy. I was more crazy about... I like the cream soda milk better. It's not something I'll drink uh, more often. It, this is something that I am doing for all of you out there. And because I promise Big Candy more videos. Uh, and this is a very safe challenge. And it upon itself. Meaning that again. I'm not going to get hurt by this. Literally it's soda and milk. Uh, it'd be the same thing if you drank it separately. And everything just went inside uh, in your stomach and so and for those wondering the only reaction I had uh, with the in the first part the soda milk challenge part one in regards to uh, uh, the cream soda because we did I drank two of these same amount uh, it was, I should say, I just had to take a, uh, take a leak a lot. That's it. Uh, but all in all, I, it's more of a, this, in essence, it's more of a cola challenge, uh, tasting. I taste more Pepsi than I do the milk. Now. There is um, something called a chocolate egg clair. I don't mean the donut. Uh, the drink is called a chocolate chocolate egg clair. Um, pretty much what it is is um, salsa water or in essence carbonated water. Just plain old carbonated water. Um, and I think uh, uh, milk, carbonated water, and chocolate syrup. Or in essence chocolate milk and carbonated water. You mix it up, it's called a chocolate eclair. I've had it as when I was a kid. Uh, I know Joe last night in our live stream uh, mentioned having carbonated milk. So, who knows, we might do a chocolate eclair while we're there. Uh, and do kind of uh, carbonated sodas, or because he has a, a soda maker at home uh, at his place, so... I'm not really crazy about the uh, um, cola milk. Uh, and everybody thinks it's a thing. I saw one comment saying, it tastes just like chocolate milk. Horse hockey. That's right. Horse hockey. This does not taste like chocolate milk. If I wanted chocolate milk, I'd either make chocolate milk with some like chocolate syrup and uh, milk. Not regular Pepsi and milk. No, like I said, granted, uh, it um, it cream soda and milk had that little bit of a taste to it uh, of strawberry quick, which very light taste of like strawberry, but 
it didn't wasn't really like a hundred percent sure of strawberry quick uh but it just had a f- slight oh kind of like yeah i could s- go that way but it was mostly i think the way the cream and uh so and the soda kind of tasted triggered that strawberry slight very slight hint of strawberry flavor this it's mostly cola i'm tasting mostly pepsi because it's getting down to the nitty gritty let's do it like this The things I do for all of you out there. Now, I said, let's have a a chip or two. What's the deal? Clear the palate. Get that out of the way. I said it this is a safe challenge it's a family friendly challenge uh even though it's almost one o'clock in the morning and pretty much it is one o'clock in the morning eastern standard time uh now for the sake of everything else i know in part one we did two-thirds milk and uh no wait. let's try it like that we got plenty of milk Screw it. About there. This might be a longer stream because we had a little thanks and I had a uh, a little bit of a thanks to everybody out there. And I said, uh, when people uh, commented on, uh, I think it was it Twitter, oh, it tastes like chocolate milk to go back on that. I think the reason why they were might have been fooled, it, again, did not does not taste like chocolate milk in any way, shape, or form. It might look like it slightly because cola, the color of cola, but it does not taste like chocolate milk now let's see if there's any difference in taste because the pepsi was very overpowering uh the milk let's see if it's still overpowering when we switch it up and let's tighten it up mix it milk is all over the place Now it's even more horrible um, because the I'm getting more ca- the carbonation than the cola or I should say the Pepsi and it this type of mixture of mostly milk and the the two thirds milk and the one third cola and no it, it tasted a little bit better. The opposite way, or I should say the original way, two-thirds soda, uh, one-third uh, the milk. And I know what a lot of you are saying. It's like, Rev, why don't you just get up, go to your sink uh, away from the computer, and come back and dump it out. No, no, I am not copping out for the sake of this. I made this. I, by God, I am going to drink this stupid concoction. Is this going to get out to a lot of people? No. Uh, Because why? YouTube probably thinks this is a health benefit. No, this is a challenge. um, Because uh, I'm trying something completely different. That's number one. Number two, um, the challenge is mostly from Big Candy, my co-host, 
in regards to doing more videos this is the best way to do a video part two and no uh, i i will drink all of this then we'll do the uh orange who knows i i might do a part three tomorrow night because uh well reasons i got time tomorrow uh and this is getting a little bit on the half hour side. We'll do a part. You know what? I am going to save this. The, we got the orange soda. I still have plenty of milk in this jug. And I have another half gallon. I'm not going to run out of milk anytime soon. I got plenty of milk in the fridge. Uh, so I'll do. I'll finish this off. Sign off. Do an upload. And I'll do a part three probably tomorrow before I wander out and do errands uh, excuse me let me put it like this let me just say this because I should have said it earlier this challenge and the early uh, last night when I did the or say the other night when I did part one is uh, well if you're lactose intolerant, do not try this challenge. Uh, I know it's a no-brainer, but uh, it is dairy product. Uh, but, again, this is a video for all of you. I will do a part three. Uh, check out our uh, presentation. I want to say uh, the presentation we uploaded uh, that was done by Don Ramirez. It's on our Facebook page, and it's on our YouTube channel. So go back and check that out. And it was posted, if you're watching this later, it was posted Saturday. And um, this will be posted up Sunday, early Sunday morning because it's after 1 a.m. Got about that much left. That's right, I am drinking this. And the light pro like this. The, the only side effects I've had with this, who jumped in? Joe, that you? You, uh, <laughs> hi Joe, you're making me stay on. I'm almost about to sign off to do a part three because we just did, um, we got some Pepsi. We did uh, kind of similar to what we did last night, but with uh, Pepsi, we just did a, uh, a, uh, Two-thirds Pepsi and one-third milk. And we just did the inverted like we did last night with the cream soda. And that is the uh, two-thirds milk and the one-third so soda. And just to go over the, the... For those watching right now on YouTube, uh, Joe just hopped in on uh, the live chat on Facebook. Uh, the... <laughs> Nice hat. <laughs> Challenge part two. Uh, Joe, I did not have di diarrhea uh, last time. I just had the burps, and I had to uh, take uh, take a whiz a lot. That's about it. So, and cola did not in any way, shape, or form come out that well. It was too, the Pepsi was a very strong flavor. Uh, the cream soda made a me better mix. I might save because we're at almost a half hour mark uh i might save orange for part three i do get have orange uh so that's a good thing and we might continue uh <coughs> because i have sitting here a uh regular uh, white birch beer which is the clear birch beer you can get at uh like martins and weiss and other places like that too so and we might actually do root beer too so we might continue this strange challenge further down the road. We'll stretch it out uh, because these were, are seemingly popular on YouTube. And I don't know who the other viewer is. So it could be me. I don't know. YouTube, uh, Facebook is very odd with its counts.
I said, the things I do for you folks out there watching at home. Watching at home. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Pepsi. This uh, this episode is not endorsed by Pepsi. Uh, did I do the orange and Pepsi come in? Come on, man. It, it ain't a cola unless you put its Coke and put some snake oil. <laughs> anyway, uh, um, I will not. Uh, let me put it like this. Pepsi is cheaper. Uh, heck, I might wander up to Weiss tomorrow, get up early. Wander up to Weiss, get actually Coke uh, a liter version of Coke, uh, excuse me, a liter version version of Coke and try it and do orange. Did you do the orange? No, I didn't do the orange. The orange has not been opened up yet. Uh, it ain't Coke unless it's, it ain't, it ain't a cola unless it's Coke. Put that snake oil away. Uh, what snake oil? I don't have any snake oil. Uh, Pepsi, this is a Pepsi safe house, not a cola safe house, Coca-Cola safe house. We don't want uh, uh, that cocaine mixture that uh, uh, is sold to everybody. And for those uh, folks at home, the original mixture <laughs> uh, for Coca-Cola included cocaine and uh, and morphine. <laughs> Poopsie. I. No, 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 no. No. You're probably one of those, uh, uh, surge folks. This is, this is a, uh, uh, the, the, I'd say the only Coke product we'll have on this, ha in this home is, uh, Mountain Dew. And that's it. We will not have, uh, any, Coke, regular Coke products in this. As a matter of fact, the only Coke product we probably have is this here bottle of Fanta, which is, I think, from Coca-Cola. Yep. Fanta is from Coke, Coca-Cola. So, and it's the not sun -kissed. It is the sucky orange soda. So, take that, Joe. We're, we'll be using the Coke version tomorrow. So who knows? I might actually go out and just to s satisfy you, Joe, I'm not going to, uh, the poopsie, as you call it. Damn right. Got to get that rush, man. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Uh, just briefly, folks, uh, to give you a quick review. Uh, I did try, um, uh, I previewed Kingdom Hearts 3 and will I be streaming Kingdom Hearts 3? on our mixer channel no no i do not want to put all of you through that torture uh not because it's a bad game it's just that for the first five minutes uh surge rocks they start doing vanilla and cherry surge at burger king yeah that's burger king <laughs> not uh not found in any store near me uh that means it's going to be hard to find in uh uh uh, a lot of stores in our area. New flavor comes out. Not going to find it in Martinsburg. Tell you that right now. Walk to Weiss. Not going to find it. I might have to wander all the way up to uh, Martins to find it. Thankfully, we're getting two more Martins in our, er uh, in our area. So there's a better chance of finding it. Uh, or finding the drinks that uh, are coming out. Uh, but... What was I going to say? Uh, I lo Damn you, Joe. Uh, <laughs> uh, Kingdom Hearts. Uh, when I started playing it, every five minutes, literally, uh, heard, heard it was poop. Heart, it was poop. Uh, Kingdom Hearts was poop. Um, yeah, it, it kind of was because every five minutes, it seemed like every five, th or not five, every 30 seconds, Welcome to Kingdom Hearts 3. You're playing Kingdom Hearts 3. Now, now uh, Kingdom Hearts 3. 
Uh, coming to the 7-Eleven near you soon. Good. I could walk up on the north side, uh, the 7-Eleven on the north side near Wendy's and get it there. Because uh, I refuse to go to the one on Winchester a Avenue and wade through a sea of homeless people bugging me to buy them alcohol because they were banned from that 7-Eleven and try to make me get banned from that 7-Eleven as well. I will not. They're buying everything. Uh, now they're 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 just banned from that Seven Eleven because they they don't they re really don't know how to behave themselves. Uh, this is life in Martinsburg. Um, Kingdom Hearts Three, like I said, every five it seemed like five ten seconds. It was Welcome to Kingdom Hearts Three. You're playing Kingdom Hearts Three. It's Kingdom Hearts Three. Um, then once you finally get started with the game, after all that Kingdom Hearts 3 stuff uh, and the tutorial, every 30 seconds or 2 minutes after that, you, you're you presented with a cutscene. It's like you go 5 feet, cutscene. Another 5 feet, cutscene. Meanwhile... The bad guys are doing this. You went 30 feet. You hit a checkpoint. Guess what? Cutscene. Uh, and, and I'm here like, well, I'm just going to go back to Crackdown 3. Um, yeah, they <laughs> uh, they gave their own game cheap plugs. Like, yeah, they gave their own cheap game cheap plugs. And what they do? They release it on all three... <laughs> Uh, the Crackhead 7-Eleven. Yeah, the one in Martinsburg. The Crackhead 7-Eleven. The one on Winchester Avenue. Um, that's why I go to the other one. Less chance of uh, uh, Crackheads going to that one. Not to mention, there's every now and again, I could get a free Slurpee. Slurpee. Yeah, fat boy getting his free Slurpee. Can't go wrong. And... But, uh... I'd rather go back to Crackdown 3, which is a, just a fun... Uh, game, it, it's on normal, it's relatively easy, or at least interesting. Um, I'll probably be, uh, streaming that more often, and plus Final Fantasy IX, uh, which I picked up, it's on that, and side note for, uh, Kingdom Hearts 3, the, on Xbox Live, the store, we only are getting Xbox, we only have Xbox uh, Kingdom Hearts 3. Um, if you want to play the other Kingdom Hearts games, you have to have either A, a Nintendo, uh, or B, a PlayStation, uh, a PS4, because it's, that's the only place you could uh, find a uh, the older series if you want to play that. But and you'll hear official review in probably episode. Uh, what would be our 202nd episode? Uh, we the main reason why we don't name or uh, put episode numbers in our title, but we kind of referring to episodes. Uh, uh, what uh, Crackdown or Final Fantasy Nine? I might be uh, doing Final Fantasy Nine a little bit more, even though it has a few more cutscenes. In it has the cutscenes in it, but um, it's mostly silent, and uh, I could commentate on it a little bit. Uh, just that I have to find a strategy guide for it, probably on eBizzle uh, or Amazon. Well, I could find a free copy, but I don't want to look at my phone every five minutes. Uh, will be available soon on all consoles. Yeah, I, I hope so. I hope to God. Uh, because the uh, version that was released on the PlayStation's Classic was the um, European version, which means, uh, even though it was English dubbed, it was set to European TV settings, so uh, uh, even though you can't hack the PS Cla the uh, PlayStation Classic to adjust it for American televisions, um, I I'd rather play it on um, my Xbox One. I think uh, what Crackdown Three. Um, yeah. Uh, Crackdown 3 uh, will be probably be coming to all, all consoles because of the Xbox uh, news that came out in regards to uh, wanting to... It'll probably be more so on the Nintendo Switch than um, PS4 
because Sony doesn't want anything to do with uh, um, Xbox Live and Microsoft for the most part. Now, they'll let cross-play, but I don't know about Crackdown 3. Um, for those of you wondering, this is just a back-scratcher. Um, the... They might put Crack Down 3 on all platforms and they'll let D2 uh, Game Pass being on um, uh, what's supposed to be remastered? Final Fantasy 7? Uh, yeah, Final Fantasy... Yeah, that, that's supposed to be remastered. Um, they might put the original up um, but the... what ha From what I heard has happened with the Final Fantasy 7 remastered thing... Uh, the original company that was supposed to do it kept stalling and stalling and uh, making changes, going back and stall, uh, stalling again. Uh, and Square Enix decided to uh, say, you know what, uh, uh, screw you guys, we'll do it. Uh, you're not meeting deadlines, uh, you're stalling, we'll take care of it. When they got the game, it was nowhere near um, what they expected. They pretty much had to delete uh, what the at least like 75, 80 percent of what the company that was supposed to remastering it uh, and making changes to it did. They had to just rewrite it. Um, whether or not it's going to be just a polished version of uh, what fans remember. Uh, who knows? Who knows? Uh, we'll see when, if and when sometime uh, it comes out. Because I remember reporting on this back in like late 2015. Uh, yeah, I heard the original will be included with the remaster. Like I said, it's been close to three years, going on four years since uh, we heard news about Final Fantasy VII being remastered and when it'll be coming out. Uh, it, it's uh, a stall fest right now. Uh, to put it uh, in hater terms, um, pretty much uh, Nine was just shiny dangling thing in our face like oh look nine and walk off and while they fix uh seven and uh get caught up but did it work yes i paid 20 bucks for final fantasy nine uh i have to start streaming it uh but there's a lot of hidden stuff and a lot of things to go back in uh, i could probably spend all day playing the card game that's in final fantasy nine uh chuckaboos yeah that that little hidden Jam. Uh, so I have to get back on uh, go on the show's account and start streaming again. Uh, well, I'll save the uh, orange soda for tomorrow. Uh, this is the stream has gone on f at least for about forty three minutes, forty five minutes. Uh, I after drinking. The Pepsi version of uh, soda milk. This might be uh, an ongoing series, uh, folks. I, my pain is your pleasure right now because, well, and that came out wrong because, well, this was disgusting. And uh, my guess is uh, Coca-Cola is equally disgusting. But so, like, D's gone. <laughs> my humble opinion. Uh, left my ass. So five years later, it's finally coming. Soon. Yeah, out in April. Um, yeah, watch. Uh, it's us old timers that remember playing it way back on the PS One. We're 65, 65 years old, seventy years old. It's <laughs> twenty fifty. Final Fantasy Seven comes out for uh, the PS Fifteen and Xbox Eight. And we'll let, finally it came out. We got to play this retro game. You great grandkid. Uh, now you get to see what it was like when we started playing this stupid game. Um, 
block hands. You all think it's the Minecraft 15, but uh, now nah, it's uh, uh, hopefully it'll come out next year. Hopefully, and it'll be the distra distraction we all need from uh, Star Wars 9 and all the crap fest movies that we probably have this year. But uh, that's probably an episode for our po uh, the show uh, next week. But uh, for those, again, who missed it, uh, upcoming this Monday, the, uh, the episode that will drop on this upcoming Monday, the uh, the f the 4th, uh, will be John Johnson from Darkstone Entertainment. Uh, he's an independent filmmaker. It, it will be a very interesting conversation with him in reference to what he's done, what he is currently doing. And i uh, see here. Hey, at least we could all die happy. It finally came out. <laughs> but... Uh, watch the 4chan version will be... Uh, uh, a hidden little whatever the current challenge is so but either way uh, folks I'm going to uh, close down the uh, live chat for right now hopefully to later today I should say Sunday night uh, we'll try to get on a little bit earlier and um, do uh, at least if not the coke uh, Coca-Cola version, I'll try to wander out and get a liter bottle of cola instead of Pepsi and, uh, do it that way. Uh, Star Wars after they need to cancel it. Um, technically, uh, they, yeah, you should, they should have canceled after eight, which was Last Jedi. Uh, we're getting a nine plus we're getting the Ryan Jan Johnson trilogy, um, like it or not, it's being shoved down our throats, and they're not doing too well. So, uh, so it it's it's going to be weird. It's going to be different. Like I said, uh, been doing this. We're on about an hour. Uh, going close to an hour. Take care, guys and gals. Uh, links to the podcast will be down in the description on YouTube. Uh, see you tomorrow. Uh, we'll do Coke, uh, so, how, so now that Disney owns Star Wars, let's see if we can get Star Wars 35 after the milk, after the milk, the cash cow, after they milk the cash cow to death. Um, uh, I mean, blue milk the cash cow, also try cherry Coke. Oh, dear God, oh, jeez. Joe, you're gonna kill me. Um, it'll, yeah, it'll be... Uh, soda milk challenge number part eight this time <laughs> this time we're finally getting to the orange soda uh, <laughs> so who knows I'll, I'll I'll get a couple extra bottles tomorrow um, wander up get the soda so yeah watch the cherry soda is the one that makes me say no 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 uh, the stomach is saying, no, the body is willing, so is the mind, but the stomach is weak. But, take care, everyone. Uh, see you next time. And, who, I might actually pick up the, uh, uh if they have, uh, the leader va version of Coke Vanilla. Maybe that will actually improve things. So, take care, folks. I'm out, uh, and we'll probably have a better live stream, uh, tomorrow. I might, who knows? But so far, our promise is being kept. And again, big candy, I believe.